VHS Bandits. Today, we're talking about Psycho Kickboxer. Let's pop in the tape. I want to see some energy out of you, so let's move it. When are you gonna learn how to duck? Feel better now? Yeah, much! Dump! Real dump! Get your ass home! And now, our feature presentation. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the VHS Band is Podcast. Thanks for joining us today. This is Dane Train with my co hosts, Topher Hansen and Tom the Bomb. Hey, the dudes, Atomic Bomb. The Atomic Bomb. The Atomic Bomb. That's right. T A B. Don't piss him off. He'll Atomic Bomb you. If you try to karate, wait, box kick? What do you call it? Is it still a karate kick if you. If you kick I boxing, definitely you heard them kick. say karate like at least once within the movie. Is that he, right? Yeah, but, he is dressed up as a ninja, not yeah. a bo- he's not like out in but, like boxing shorts. Uh he's a ninja. Yeah. So uh, it's more of a psycho ninja guy. Yeah, kinda sorta. No. I feel like eh. it, I mean, I thought kickboxing was all about kicking. I don't think that there was an, a ton of kicking in the movie. There was a good amount of kicking. You let's, think so? Yeah. Let's yeah. not downplay the kicking. There's a lot of kicking. Uh, okay, all right, all right. They didn't skip on the kick. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, thank you guys for joining us. It's been two months since we've done a show, and we're happy to be back. Yes. And, uh, no better way to kick back into it than with kick. Psycho kickboxer. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very psycho either. No. No, he's more no. like kind kind of angry ninja would be a yeah, better yeah. name for this movie. Yeah, Vigilante right. ninja I mean, I, guy. I guess he's psycho in that he just goes around like beating the crap out of people. But I mean, he's not like yeah. But that's like he's got a reason for it though. He's that like he does. like a maniac cop. What, that guy's a maniac, I, and oh, he's yeah. a cop. What I want the to bad happen guy, but... is, like, the scene where, like, there's the bunch of kids doing, like, the graffiti. I wanted him to beat the crap out of them because that would have been, like, a really funny scene. Psycho but he just, thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Psycho, where, where it just shows him losing it. But, no, he just he just scares them away. He just tells them to get out of there. Yeah. Get out of here. So I got this tape from AlternativeCinema.com a few years ago. I bought this with... Uh, the WNUF the Halloween basement? special and the basement, oh. yeah. Mm. And uh, that's one of the trailers. Farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the tape trailers opens hosted up. by uh, yeah Josh yeah, from Lunch Josh. Meet. Yeah, showing off all of the alternative cinema dot com releases like Scare Waves and Easter Sunday and the basement. Uh, there was a good looking one on there called the Babysitter Massacre. That looked pretty good. That looked oh, like that yeah. would have some that good looked- party hats in it. Yeah, there's, there's uh, they cut to uh, this one big titty lady, uh, like almost taking her bra off in the trailer like seven times, of, yeah, like the same shot. And there's only like one line of dialogue in the entire trailer, yeah. so you know it is going to be a primo film. Oh yeah, primo. Uh, so uh, the the cover is fantastic. It's actually the reason why I bought this movie. 
was because uh, as a VHS as shoot. A, as as a limited edition newer V. Now this movie was made in, from what I understand, 1997. Uh, I don't know if it was ever released. I don't know. I don't know if it's like a Miami Connection kind of a deal where it was unearthed. I don't know, but uh, it's some sort of a modern release, right? Uh, so on the cover, you have like this, like skyline New York City background with a big ass explosion and this ninja dude kicking a fucking head off of a set of shoulders <laughs> and blood splattering everywhere and it says blood and gore galore it says imdb.com and psycho now is boxing. that is that the um that can't be the original poster is oh, it oh that's the thing dude i don't even know if there was an original poster to this movie cuz i don't even know if this movie was ever released back in the day Oh, kind of like the basement where it never got it, yeah. officially. Yeah, it, it might have yeah, been yeah, yeah. like might have been one of those stories, right? Uh, five-time world kickboxing champion Curtis Bush, who's quite the thespian in this movie, if I do say so myself. Yes, um, yep. quite. So can't motion pictures. Uh, what else? This movie's not rated. And it says, uh, JoeBlow.com says, it never ceases to amaze. And Chud.com says, best dot 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 is dot 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 the music which sounds <laughs> that's a complete that's, sentence right there that's fucking great. best is the music which sounds like it was somehow scored from an old sega genesis it sounds like it sounds like it was uh sound designed by a uh, uh like a one of the Casio keyboards that has the sound effects on it. Yeah. Like, because in the first scene, he's like sparring with some dude, and like every time he hits the guy in the face, it's the same punch sound. And yeah. then when he hits him in the stomach, it's a different punch sound. But it's yeah. like, I, it, it's, it, to me, it's like if, if I'm playing Primal Rage, but I close my eyes, that's the sound yeah. of Psycho Kickboxer, right? Yeah. Um, it is it. literally that's like right. one song in the whole damn movie. Every single time there's a fight scene, it's. Guys, make some kicking and punching sounds. That's psycho kicks. That's ninety minutes of psycho kickbox, there, folks. That's it. That's the whole movie. Um. So, uh, on the cover, yes, you got a you got a shot of the actor who Curtis Bush who plays the lead role and some other people and a shot of the guy's fucking <laughs> head spewing people. blood that was on the cover. And it says psycho kickboxer from 1997 left for dead after the brutal murder of his father and fiance up and coming kickboxer, Alex Hunter, five time world kickboxing champion, Curtis Bush embarks on an odyssey of vengeance coached, by a wheelchair-bound Vietnam vet, Alex is transformed into an avenging street fighter, a one-man vigilante, and skull-crushing killing machine known as the Dark Angel. Using controlled fury and a hunger for revenge to seek retribution against low-life criminal scum. Alex must elude a beautiful journalist eager to unveil his identity while destroying an army of inner city assassins. That's it. <laughs> now the boxer hey, is psycho kickboxer. Any, any current up and coming kickboxers? Like does I anyone mean, kickbox anymore? Uh is is I that mean what, people uh, still do. Is is like that, especially Go ahead. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, um, like I know Muay Thai is like um fa- fairly popular still. That's like it that translates to Thai boxing. It's but it's kickboxing. Um, but like um, with the popularity of MMA now, a lot of people just train kickboxing and then jujitsu or wrestling to have both your striking and grappling for MMA. But I mean, people still do compete in you know just straight kickboxing. So there is a re- just like I know MMA and everything, but just kickboxing, you, that still is a thing. Yeah, it's still a thing. Wow! Do you yeah. go to many underground kickboxing matches, Tom? How do you know about this world? 
I used to train jujitsu, and some of the people and- who tra- train jujitsu would also train, um, you know, Muay Thai and get ready for fighting. But like, there's like, so um, is Muay Thai? Is that the same thing as kickboxing? Is kickboxing just like the American name for Muay Thai? Okay, so um, there's different types of kickboxing. Like, there's like I forget what it's called, but there's like a French type of kickboxing, but it's almost more like the Jean Claude Van Damme version. No, it's like you like <laughs> it touch them with your foot, and that's a point, even if you didn't really like hurt them. So it's oh, more of course like that's the French one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So there's more about points and stuff, whereas Muay Thai, you get your ass kicked. Like, yeah. um, <laughs> but, um, that, that's the one where you kick people's heads off. Yeah. And it, they'd also like, they also use their elbows and their, um, knees in Muay Thai. Okay. So, um, cool. A good little kickboxing history lesson from Tom, the atomic kickboxing. <laughs> Tom, bomb. wait, bomb. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I got my head kicked off. Uh, so we got. Uh, so like we mentioned earlier, we we've got uh, a bunch of great ads at the beginning of the tape, and then uh, then we go right into the movie, and um, we're introduced to uh, Alex Hunter. He's doing some kickboxing training at the gym. Yep. And the uh, movie title on the screen is Oh yeah. What is it? Dark, it's, Dark, uh, Angel. Dark Hunter, Angel. Dark Angel. Yeah. Which is if the, I, the, I the subtitle being it, Psycho Kickbox. Yeah. Yeah, cuz the it, I was like is this a sequel? But it's just a really long title in the so like Psycho Kickboxer Dark Angel and they say these things. They don't call him Psycho Kickboxer. But no. they say Dark Angel a shitload and his name is whatever hunter something hunter a- alex hunter so, yeah yeah <clears throat> and it feels like they wanted to call the movie like seven different things because they just say it so often uh they say dark angel a lot and then they say you know hunter a lot so i don't know yeah um and you guys want to give a good quick fast synopsis of the movie sure <laughs> 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 That's a movie. That pretty much sums it up. So, well, yeah. I mean, we don't have to go over the. We can go over like cool parts of the movie and like the. Yeah. Or are you just talking like the basic plot? I mean, just, I'll just give the like basic plot. just like the basic rundown is basically <clears throat> yeah. like um. So Alex's father is the chief of police. Um, he is then um, betrayed. Sold I thought out he was a his... lawyer. Oh yeah, he was. The... Oh, no, I thought he worked for the. No, police. no, I th- I thought he was a cop, and he's like, yeah, I'm about to put away this, or maybe he was not. I don't okay. know. Okay, so I he, was, he, he was, was like <sighs> a defense, whatever. He's whatever. Some he, guy he, like he was that. a he, yeah, he was a cop lawyer who was um about <laughs> to put I put away um the crime lord boss guy in the town, Mister Hawthorne. Mister Hawthorne. Fucking, uh, um, <laughs> who's the who uh. Not Clyde von Cyclops, but he the uh, the fake guy from Bomb Voyage. What is his oh, name? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God! He would have been perfect. Oh, I know. oh, um, oh shit! What was his name? So we have this fake movie that we've never made <gasps> called Bomb Voyage. Caesar Saint Bryce. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the bad guy is Caesar Saint Bryce. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> That guy who played Mr. Mm. Hawthorne is, without a doubt, would have made Caesar the, Saint Bryce. the best Caesar Sam Bryce. Oh, man. And, Just give uh, him an eye patch. It would have been perfect. Right. Yeah, yeah. This is a movie that me and Dane uh, came up with a long time ago. We, we have a back catalog of fake movies that, you know, just yeah. because. Bomb Voyage. <laughs> but this guy is, like, is Caesar Saint Bryce yeah. to a He team. was the main bad guy who... I liked him uh, a lot. It was uh, Jack Kincaid, the the main good guy, <laughs> and he. It was Die Hard on a on a cruise ship, basically. <laughs> yeah, not not Speed Two though. No, no, not, not <laughs> garbage. Come on, very different than Speed yeah, Two. Yeah, super very different, different, super different. Yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that that dude, he's one of my favorite parts of the whole movie, Mister oh, Hawthorne. Yeah. yeah, any scene with him is excellent. I feel yeah, like he's like this like 
a feminine southern bad guy. I, I felt, but he's like a crime boss. I feel like he was the guy. Like, like they were looking for people for this movie, right? I, I saw that the, at the end of the movie, it said this whole thing was shot in like Virginia or something, right? And they're probably looking for actors or, or people who have done some theater or whatever. There weren't many like seasoned actors in this movie. It seemed oh, like no. everybody... No, I think Mr. Acting... Hawthorne was the only seasoned actor. I think he was the guy who did like the local Shakespeare stuff and they're like, yes. he's yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Right. He is the only one, I feel like, in this movie, like you said, he had like even like that level of acting He had experience. any chops at all. Maybe, uh, well, the the women weren't that bad, and yeah. I actually um, love the the black guy. I forgot what his name was. But. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the, he the, was great. He was he yeah. was he was one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. Yeah, he was good too. Um, he reminds me as so. This is uh, I know we're jumping ahead, but uh, kickboxer guy kind of gets taken in by what's his name? Do you know? Do you guys remember his name? I don't remember his name in the movie. I don't, but. Well, basically, he's uh, a non veteran he's, guy. Yeah, he's he's like imagine um, wheels from the Burger King Kids Club. But after after spending time in the burger wars and coming back <laughs> uh, and being shunned from from late 70s society and forced to live in a warehouse. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's this, this guy. guy. He's, yeah, he's awesome. He's great. So. They're great. Anyway, so, <laughs> so the movie yeah. happens. Tom, what's happening in this movie? Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, um, crime boss guy, like, shotguns his father's in the face and his head explodes. <laughs> and then, like, his henchman uh, rapes That's his... That's in, like, the first, like, ten minutes. Too. Yeah, like, that is. That happened, like, I was like, whoa. I, that yeah, when I, was, when I first saw that, I was shit. like, oh, wow. Okay, so this is how the movie's going. <laughs> and, and it's and not then, the only exploding head in the movie. Yeah. And then they topped that off with like his fiance getting like raped, and then having yeah, her throat that was slashed. Like whoa, that, Jesus Christ! That was like okay, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, they're but, the si- maybe he's a psycho kickboxer because he kickboxes psychos. Psychos, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's more of so, a, an adjective than a kickboxer so, psychos or a compound noun than an adjective. Yeah. So then they. I forget what happens to him, but they, they I think they think they get rid of him, but obviously they don't. And he fucking um, he like uh, Chris was saying is rescued by the um, Vietnam vet. Um, yeah, why did they guy. shotgun his fucking face off? Yeah, I I don't know. Well, I think like, what happened he, he was just, I don't know how he survived at all. I'm I I guess I'm just not remembering got, like exactly what happened at that. He got shot point. in the shoulder and they kicked the shit out of him. They yeah. let him see. His father getting his head blown off. They saw he yeah. saw his fiance getting raped and, and slit her throat. And then they were like, "Oh, hey, you crooked cop, just take him out while we leave, okay?" And then yes, the guy's like, yes, "All right, I'm that, gonna do it." And he right. pulls out the gun and he holds it to him and he's like, "Oh wait, what was that noise? I better get out of here." And then he takes off. Yeah. And then okay. that's when a guy yeah, in the wheelchair is yeah. like, "Damn, they're throwing away perfectly good white boys around here." <laughs> oh, is it the same warehouse yeah. that he lives in? So then he, like, um, basically teaches him how to fight, even though he's already, like, a five-time world champ or something, but he has to learn how to fight for the street or something. So He has um, to get street smart. Yeah, he's got to get street smart. Um, I also liked when uh, when he, when he, uh, when Alex, the, the, the Dark Angel, when he wakes up from his coma or whatever he was in, and he's getting, like, mended and stuff by the guy in the wheelchair, and he's like, he's like oh, great. A black guy in a wheelchair. Just what I need. I wish they had just killed me. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. what? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's like, I would think that this guy would be beyond devastated seeing his father's head getting blown up and his Dang. fiance getting raped. Whatever. He just goes, yup, I feel like shit. I saw them get killed. And I'm like, I don't think that this is the natural reaction to the situation here. No, I do not. No. Especially, like, and, the way so they got we, killed. That. <laughs> <laughs> it, like the worst thing that happened to him today is that his life was saved by a black guy in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had just been killed instead. Like my God, how rude! Uh, but I mean, like, like earlier in the movie, like um, I I just remembered the proposal was on screen. It, like um, 
and he was, he didn't get it on his knee. There was no ring. There was no nothing. It was just like, hey, babe, oh, you want to get awesome. married later? It's like, <laughs> I'm not doing anything next Tuesday. Like, we could get married or something. Yeah, it was like, he like so when, yeah, when we're introduced to his girlfriend, uh, then they, like, he shows her his apartment that she's never seen before. Or, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. or, or he's, like, bought a new fucking couch or something, and he's like, hey, yeah, do, do you like my this is a this is my couch. Do you like it? And she's like, "Wow, it's so beautiful." Do you you uh we should you want to marry me? Yes. And then they bang, uh, and then he, his dad's head gets exploded. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So then, yeah. <clears throat> then um basically it's like the part that like you know Chris and I were doing the sound effects for earlier where he just like kickboxes a bunch of the henchmen of like um uh was it mr Heck- mr hawthorne mr hawthorne that's it yes so he's going around like beating up his henchmen and then like that's basically interspliced with scenes of like him training with the vietnam vet guy and then also mr hawthorne getting mad at his underlings for failing to um get the dark angel which like there's uh, there's also interspliced with um these radio hosts who are talking about him um, and how he's become the that dark nothing angel. Nothing to do with the movie. Yeah, that had nothing to do with anything else. It's like a, there's also it's this, like um, Rocco and Birdsy talking. <laughs> for, yeah, <clears throat> this reporter chick who like gets naked a lot because you know that, that needs to be like part of the appeal. You of the only movie. see her butt, maybe a half yeah. of a nipple. You, you, no, no, yeah, you got you got a little bit of party hat, real quick. That's it. Yeah, mostly you see her cheeks. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she changes in the fucking like she has the stranger who ju- this is jumping ahead, but the yeah, stranger yeah. who just breaks into her fucking house, and <laughs> and then and she's she decides like, oh, she's going I'm gonna to get change naked in now. front of him. Yeah. Yeah. With my, d- I'm gonna change for. I have no idea why I'm changing my clothes at this pivotal moment in my life where someone just broke into my house, but I'm going to take off my, my pants and Mr. Rogers it and put on a new pair of pants, even though I was already wearing pants and I don't have any underwear on, and I'm going to leave the door open and my back turned towards you. Yeah, Perfect. So yep. that, that, that's basically exactly that's what happens. Um, Very logical. Yeah, so anyways, like... I, some point in the film, like, um, you know, Dark Angel is kickboxed enough people. Mr. Hawthorne's getting, like, <laughs> He's hit mad. his kickbox meter is full now, and he's like, I'm ready to <laughs> go to the final. His, his, so, um, his kickbox inbox is full. Yeah. So, like, um, <laughs> That'd be a Mr. great Hawthorne... movie, kickbox inbox. It's like kickboxing yeah. <laughs> uh, Apple twos or something. <laughs> there you go. He kidnaps that reporter chick. Or Ooh, you've got um, mail too, kickbox in Yeah. <laughs> and this other random guy who I forget why he was there. He, right, I so, think it was so the guy who wh- broke in originally. He's and then the detective. He, and he, yeah, he's, he's a, a detective. He's a private yeah. eye. So the two of them are working together to figure out who the Dark Angel is. And when they do, they get a shitload of reward money that they're going to split. Yes. Yeah, who is this Who is this lady? So anyway, so she's a reporter. also going to... Right, but so he's the the psycho kickboxer um, meets her because he's, like, doing vigilante shit around this city. And this is the most dangerous city in America. This is, like, Detroit or, like, Newark or something. Like, I don't know. Every, everywhere you go, someone is getting – everyone's on edge, ready to mug you or, like, just beat you up for no reason. Yeah, there's so like, many scenes where, like, like, like in one, he just, like, bumps into, like, one of the thugs, and the thug's like – Oh, you got problem, and they try and like. He like, doesn't even him bump into to him though. Get, he yeah. just walks around the corner, and they say, "Yeah, uh, you got a problem. <laughs> you do now." Yeah, and that's that's after he's running away from saving this lady. Yeah, uh, but my favorite is like when they're just doing like this deal of like um, cocaine, just like out in the open. They just like it, like, and he just outside like outside of the warehouse, straight, the yeah, straight kicks it up, and they just like sprays cocaine all over. <laughs> them. <laughs> My my absolute favorite part of the movie, I think, was he's like at like the local uh, he's like at like the local pizza joint. Yep, ordering like some grinders. Sub-chain. You know, he's at he's at like Steve's in West Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, West Boylston. Yeah, Steve's it, Pizza. He's it at, looks uh, just he's like at, uh, Steve's uh, Pizza. He's uh, at Nico Bico Dico's there. You know, 
Oh, but wait, we have to say the first. So this is right after. Um, the, I forget something that happens immediately before this is he like kickboxes a dude's head off, or so, he like kills three guys brutally. No, this is what happens. He saves a woman from uh, on one of his vigilante runs. There's a woman getting carjacked. And then he notices it. He yes. just like runs out in the yes. middle of the street in his like makeshift Walmart like ninja suit. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, and he like pulls the guy and fucking like kickboxes him or whatever. And he ends up on the ground. And then the old lady fucking just <laughs> she goes, uh, son of a bitch. Yeah, and he runs <laughs> over his him. head. With a fucking it. Mustang, too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she blows up his head and then. Boom, the head explosion cut to Psycho Kickboxer at Steve's Pizza going, yeah, yeah I'll get two meatball yeah. subs and uh, a bag of Wachusa potato chips and uh, two large Cokes. And the yeah. guy right, the guy taking the order is like, two, two, he's like, it takes him like 10 minutes to yeah, he's like, write down you the want, order. You he's, want any chips? What, you need a drink with that? It's like in real time we have to watch this guy take his order, <laughs> and and then he like is like okay, two, even he's like I got to take a piss now, and he goes to take a piss, and then he's like two subs and two <laughs> bags of chips and two he like writes it down eighteen times. He's the only guy in the shop, and then some 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 of course in wherever the fucking city they live in, this guy's gonna get the robbed Rod fucking now. Vernon Hill and what's the <laughs> yeah, so some, takes place. some guy in a. In a you know bad guy in a windbreaker comes in and tries to rob the place, but of course he gets psycho kickboxed. Yep. Dude, and the best part of that is the guy's fucking dead, right? His face is pulverized, <laughs> and the guy's like, the guy's like, "Hey, man, you get out of here. Thanks for your help. Uh, uh, I owe you a couple of subs for this." <laughs> yeah. like, Great. So, so you murdered a, a, a burglar, so you get a couple of free subs. <laughs> yeah, two free subs with each burglar <laughs> murder. For one into Sisla. Not even, not even lifetime sub. Yeah, no, no, no lifetime subs. Just two. You saved my life. You get two free subs. <laughs> you know, we like used to be like. Remember when we were kids? Like you do something for somebody, and then you're like, "Oh, you're you're my slave for life now." Yeah. Or like you're, I'm in, I'm in your debt forever. That used to be in movies all the time. Yeah. I feel like as a kid, like, oh. Yeah. I'm in I'm in your debt forever after you saved my life. And like that was like you'd think as a kid, like that those are the rules. You save someone's life. Now they you're they're in your debt forever and they have to do whatever favor you ask of them. Yeah. Just, yeah, two free subs. You get it. that's it. <laughs> two free <laughs> subs. Hey, got got to turn profit here, you, you want, know? <laughs> you want extra cheese? That's gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um you know what's funny though? At that at that moment, like when the guy's head gets run over, like it's in a fucking uh, uh, Toxic Avenger, and and then the other guy gets shit, got the shit kicked out of him. That was pretty much the end of the extreme gore that was in this movie, and we're coming up to a pretty big climactic end of the movie. But like, yeah. most of the crazy head explosions and all the, all the big gore is pretty much done at this point, though. Yeah. So. so- Mr. Hawthorne, like, abducts, um, you know, Dark Angel and the girl and that guy. And um, he's like, because you're such a great fighter and you want to interrupt my business, I've it's stayed of shotgunning you <laughs> instead of just shooting you in the face. I'm going to stage this underground ultimate fighting tournament <laughs> like mortal combat but only the last like 15 minutes of the movie and i that, love that the, one, i love that it's in that guy it's in this like chintzy like shaboom's nightclub that just yeah. has a little just some like neon shit yeah like all this top. neon like lighting is just like yeah. flashing up above but anyways like um <laughs> there's like He's like, I've imported these fighters from all over the world. And I'm just thinking, like, how did he import these, like, in, like, the last 15 minutes? But regardless. But they're they're the all, they're, he could do they're it. all Americans. Yeah, they're all Americans, <laughs> despite him saying there's that. there's only three of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's, like, a boxer, like, a traditional, like, fist boxer. There's, like, a, um, 
I guess Game like I didn't I didn't know this until the credits, but one guy they called like a bouncer, so I'm like, okay, so that was a guy was like yeah. a a bouncer. Um But yeah, and, and then, then another the, and then a fat ninja. Uh, yeah, then like a, a really in a ninja game. Yeah, a yeah. really fat guy in a gi who's called Bigfoot in the uh in the <laughs> closing credits. Um Yeah, so like one by one, uh the <laughs> Dark Angel defeats them, which was like another thing. Everyone in the movie takes turn fighting him. No one ever tries to like jump him as a group. Right. Um, Even when he's doing his vigilante shit, like he there's the moment where he saves the woman, the reporter lady, um, from fucking muggers, of course. Yeah. Um <clears throat> and um they all take like you can see them take like every fight scene is shot. In a wide, like it's oh, and it's all one wides. take too. It, mostly, yeah. But it's there's no like close-ups of it. They don't hide like that. There's zero choreography to this, or very little choreography. Um, it's all shot like you know in, in filmmaking. If you like, fight scenes are very cool if they're all in one take. If you know how to fight and if they're choreographed <laughs> otherwise <laughs> they're gonna use shaky cam or like hide it with a bunch of quick cuts and inserts no this is all uh all one take like if you're jackie chan you'll notice all of jackie chan stuff is like very long takes and wide shots because it's all fucking cool shit happening um but this like he you see him like walk up and then they're like all waiting, like, uh, is it? Do I go now? Do I? Uh, yeah. Do I do? And then, like, you even see like the other one of the the guy holding the knife to the woman's face. He like he's like, go, 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 go. and like <laughs> says, "Go ahead," and to the to the other guy whose turn it is to fight him. And yeah. I don't think that I think that was like, you know, part of the fucking like set. You yeah. know, not not intentional. Um, but anyway, he one on one fights all these people. Nobody like. Um, and then there's this one shot where during that fight where the camera pans a little too far and like you see the sound guy. Oh, and, uh, really? Yeah. I didn't notice didn't that. Didn't notice. It's pretty obvious, but it looks like it's like, oh, there's someone behind him. Oh, wait. No, that's just the fucking sound guy. And so like, is someone going to jump him? No, he's just recording him going. Because uh, uh. Uh, then when it turns again that way, he, that guy just disappears. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nobody ever. It's all one-on-one -on -one stuff. What I would have done in this tournament of death is have all the people surround him at the very end after he one-on-ones these guys, and you think he's won. Then like Caesar St. Bryce pulls down some some lever from the ceiling, and then all these other ninjas <clears throat> drop down in a circle around him, Ooh. and then he does a spin kick and kicks all their heads off in one. <laughs> One. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been awesome. The well, you know, that kind of reminds me of um, when he kills, like, the last guy. You could tell they were trying to make, like, this epic shot where he, like, punches this guy in the face. And, and, and Alex <laughs> Hunter, he goes, <laughs> in slow right? motion. Like, shaking his fist. But, like, it obviously didn't, like, work out the way they probably had envisioned. Dude, that was, I laughed I don't think it was, so like. So hard to that shot. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is, like, I'm like, I don't even think they could, like, afford or, like, get right, like, slow motion. So they're just, like, just do this, like, really slowly and pretend you're going in slow motion. <laughs> yeah. That's what yeah, it looked that's like. Exactly what it was. Yeah. Yeah. But the hey, thing is, but yeah. Expensive. So, like they were that, saying, he wins the tournament and he kills all the bad guys. And then if, that's, if he, that's if the he end. had actually, like, you know, kicked off some heads during that scene. Like like the cover describes, I think it would have been much better. Oh, and I, I forgot mean, the movie's the, great though. Oh yeah, yeah. The, oh absolutely. The closing scene, then the he high fives the um the disabled uh veteran, and then it plays his oh yeah he, theme song. The disabled guy is the one who takes out Caesar St. Bryce. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because you find out that it was because of of. He, he didn't. He didn't lose his legs in, in the war. Vietnam. It no. was because of Mister Whitmore or whatever the fuck his name was, Hawthorne. Mister Hawthorne. 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 I do. I, I laugh. High 
I don't know why I laughed so much, but there was a there was a scene where um he thought that somebody betrayed him, so he's like, I need you to cut off your your pinky finger. So oh yeah, that's like in the like first in that, way like, we you know, you learn about this guy. Mm. So then they just fucking take off the guy's hand, but the guy goes, Ah, my fucking hand! <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, the like normally in any in any uh, you know mobster movie where they're like, put your hand on the table or what you know you know what's gonna happen. Um, and the the guys usually like, no, what are you talking about? I don't do, 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 do. I didn't do anything, man. And then he like tries to fight it. But this guy's just like, yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Hey, I'll put. <laughs> hey, I'll cut off my finger for you. I know. Hey, uh, I didn't do nothing though. When I, hey, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna cut off my finger to show you that. Yeah, I'm a good, uh, good worker bee here. And then he cuts off his whole fucking hand. And then you never see him again. I guess they killed him after that. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the only time it's mentioned again though, when um the dirty cop is talking to Hawthorne, he's like, you can't just go chopping off people's hands. This isn't like. I don't know wherever, but apparently it is because, like we've been talking, like there's crime. This isn't like it's Detroit, or it's just yeah. where little old ladies can run over guys' heads and it's fine. <laughs> right, nothing happens to her. Uh, that's awesome. And like yeah. nothing happens to like obviously Dark Angel for like all the numerous people he kills during this movie. Well, nor should it. Yeah. I don't think so. If I was there, were, there, you know, it's one of those movies where it's like, oh, he's a good guy or he's a he's a bad guy. He shouldn't be out taking, you know, justice into his own hands, blah, blah, blah. They try to do that with like the DJs yeah. who have nothing to do with this fucking movie. They're just there for I think they were trying to make it funny or they like were padding. I think the, it was uh, padding. That's the time my or something like that. They're yeah. like, oh, this movie's not fucking long enough. Um but because they like you never like it's clearly shot after the entire movie was shot. Like this is like some second unit shit that they just like did in one day just to I don't know. Maybe some scenes didn't cut together yeah. or something. Yeah, but. I think it's probably what happened. Yeah, they're probably cutting this movie together and saying we got to put something else in here, you know. So, yeah, who knows? Which is a, which is a trick in the movie business. If you ever see a movie where it's all in one location and like scenes and it constantly cuts back to it uh either you know they have a high paid actor that c they could only afford for one day or they needed to fucking fix this movie real quick so yeah all right so i know some movies that have done that first hand well not oh, first boy. Hand, second hand second hand oh boy in the movie coming up that's doing Oh, a movie that you're working on right now? You're doing that? No, not no, 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 not a movie I'm working on, but that I have ties to, I guess. Ooh. But, I mean, it's a it was it's from the get go though. It's written that way from the start, so oh, at least oh, it's okay. like part of the story. But it's for they can't afford, it, you know, they can only pay this actor X amount of dollars, so they can't have you know, it's a high yeah. paid individual. I got it. Okay, all right. Oh boy. And I gotta oh say, I think the icing on the cake with this movie was having its own 90s theme song during the end credits. Oh, yes. fuck yeah. Yeah. That song was rad as hell. Yeah. It was. Can you please put that at the end of this episode? Absolutely, I will. Wow. <laughs> I, I've been doing that lately, putting a song from the movie at the end. So I'm, go I'm definitely going to do that here. So awesome. Great. That song yeah. is so fucking cool. Yeah. It is. And like, I. Like, I was just like uh, saying, um, yeah, like singing the lyrics to it to Tiffany afterwards to annoy her. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> Dark angel. Uh, yeah, it's it's like half rap song, half like uh, spoken word. Yeah, yeah, it's like I don't know. Kick boxer, like chopping awesome. off the heads, cloaked in darkness. <laughs> and he's like, like talking about he's he's like in the first act his. Family was killed, and then in the second act, he was doing vigilante kickboxing stuff. And then he had to fight the bad guy at the end. <laughs> oh, it's, it's awesome! Great. It's awesome. I uh, guess that's the movie. What was your favorite fight? Oh, my favorite fight. Ah, uh, dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> 
I'm gonna say the whole the whole ending scene of fighting all all of the Im- imported fighters from all over the world. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. All right. What That's about what about that fight? It makes it because uh, it was it one, one big epic fight with the same goddamn music that was in the rest of the movie. <laughs> but it was okay. uh, it was neat to see anybody that just wasn't a street thug getting their ass kicked. So sure. It was a little, yeah. I felt like I was watching. Um, uh, 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 the Street Fighter movie <laughs> instead. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like Gladiator Cop at the end. Okay, yeah. Uh, where you Did know, you like, expect oh, Robert it's Zadar be like, to show up. I mean, not on this budget, but I wish he did. It would have been good. Uh, Psycho Cop versus, I mean, Maniac Cop versus Psycho Kickboxer. Ooh, now that's a movie right there. That's a sci-fi that's original a if I've ever movie. heard one. That's a canon movie, if I ever that, that heard is, one. Yes. Oh, that make a good canon movie. That's right. In space. Ooh, even better. <laughs> oh, man, kickbox- we kickboxer got in space. That's a movie. Kickboxing astronaut. Psychomaniac yeah. astronaut. Psycho. <laughs> that's a movie. Psychomaniac. <laughs> that's a little vague, right? Psychomaniac. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, what was your favorite fight, Tom? Hmm. I mean, there's too many to choose from. There are too <laughs> many to choose, lot the to choose from. <laughs> and they are all there, very there, there's like that's like the whole movie. Um, yeah. Maybe the one on the boardwalk that looked like the, they had to shoot it really quick, or else somebody would have called the cops. And said, Where's your <laughs> permit? Yeah, that, that, I was gonna say the boardwalk one was good. Um, I liked obviously like we were talking about the one with the carjacker just because he gets his head run over at the end. Yeah, yeah. There was one like earlier in the film where like it just it was funny the way someone yelled like, "Oh my ankle or my foot or something!" Like when their like foot broke. Yeah, and I, I, I laughed at oh, that. Oh yeah, there's a there's a lot of that. Like, oh, you punched me in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kickboxed me. <coughs> yeah. I think That's I I stuff. think I like the uh, the carjacker one the best. Yeah. Let, let, because it less so for the actual fight because the fight isn't that impressive. The head getting the run head over exploding and yeah. then immediately ordering meatball subs afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if, I was gonna that's say that's the cherry on the top. Yeah. What? <laughs> Another one I guess would be like the first fight scene that like he loses against like the thugs when they like kidnap his father and fiance because that one's like just like super over the top intense with like oh my god yeah like, look. yeah they really went that they started off with a bang yeah they did right yeah and then he never loses a fight from that moment on yeah because he's gone psycho <laughs> all right so what are we gonna rate this rate the sucker rat uh uh, meatball subs, or uh, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. what, do you think, what do you think? Car Tom Atomic heads. Bomb. I'm gonna give it seven meatball subs out of ten. Ooh. Whoa! You just ordered two meatball subs, but you get you must have killed uh, uh, three couple, and a half uh, <laughs> three and a half bad guys at Steve's Pizza. Yeah. And my, my reason for that is, like, obviously, like, it's, like, pretty low quality, but it's also, like, very enjoyable to watch. Like, we're just, like, versus, like, some of the it, other one. Because, like, every scene is, like, this crazy, stupid fight scene. They they always keep it moving. It's always entertaining. Uh, Mr. Hawthorne's fun. The heads exploding are fun. There's a lot going on. And when I got to say when Mr. Hawthorne, like the best like bad guy thing Mr. Hawthorne does is when he's talking to um, O'Reilly, who's the crooked cop yeah. that like turned in the Mr. bad. Mr. O'Reilly. <laughs> he's like, he, he's, there's like this giant projector screen behind him and he's like eating soup. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, join me for supper. <laughs> Yeah, he's eating soup with a bunch of henchmen around. 
I just thought that was just like such a weird, like oh. cool '90s bad guy thing to I, do. I also yeah. wanted to bring up real quick. There was one scene where Mister Hawthorne and his goons meet Buzz. Stoop. They 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 kidnap the reporter, like in his limo, right? And he's like, <clears throat> "This okay. is reporter. I understand you may know who the oh. Dark Angel is." And she's like, "I don't know who he is." So like, so then he just goes, he's like, "Stop the car! Get the hell out of here! You gotta walk home." <laughs> yeah, <that's> like, <laughs> yeah like, it was like, it's like this guy's like this murderous thug. It's like that is some petty ass <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, walk yeah, home you can walk home and then it just cuts to her like she made it home, home. And it's, it's like the middle of the night she's right not even out of, she, yeah. maybe she took a taxi I'm and she's sure, like but... and she's like she's like she's like that they didn't of a drive bitch. that far to be yeah it's, it's, yeah exactly he's like she's mad she about like it too she's like that son of a bitch made me walk what an asshole <laughs> yeah, but it's like this is fucking cute mur- guy who That's probably most evil murdered you and yeah. you're just bitching him more like that bastard you know that was and great. That's right. So there, I think that's right after the soup scene. Um, yeah, yeah. Because he's he's eating soup and he's like, "I'm going to get the psycho kickboxer." <laughs> Dude, his laugh then, is so good in this movie too. And, the, and then and at like that, that's, and then they hold on it forever. And then yeah, exactly. Like, oh. And then like that's <laughs> usually the type of thing they would cut the scene at. But like no, he right. just like just goes on to like yeah. <laughs> and he does it again in the limo yeah. to this lady and he's like I'm I need you to help me find the psycho kickboxer <laughs> <laughs> And then in like maniacal laugh and then she's like doesn't think anything of it. I don't know. Have you ever met anyone that's <laughs> maniacal laughed for real? No. No? Me neither. No. I know. Send, I, I would you say know I know people who probably laughters. would do it, but you know, like that actually, like something amused them and they cackle into the sky, like yeah. before I know some, conducting an evil plot. I, 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 I let me just say I, I worked for somebody at one time who I'm pretty sure probably would do that on their own time. Wow. Most likely, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised <laughs> if they went. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm. I'm not even joking. Not even joking. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Kooky oh. crazy. <laughs> Kookamonga funny. crazy. Kookamonga. Kookamonga. But uh, that's a kookamongus. So, uh, all right, there, dude. What's it gonna be? Oh man. Uh, oh, I. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna save the life of the, of the uh, shopkeeper. Wait, the sub shop guy, I'm going to save his life four and a half times to make oh. a total of nine meatball subs. Ooh, all right. Yeah, uh, just uh, just one one sub away from the free sub punch card yeah. <laughs> without having to save anybody's life. Now, why now why not all 10 grinders? Um, I mean a little bit of it is kind of slow, not too much. Um that's pretty much it. It could have been, uh, and they there could have been more. Uh, you know, if it was, if they did have ninjas drop down from the ceilings and a roundhouse kick, decapitating several people at once in a sea of blood, this would be an eleven. But eh, you know, it just it's kind of slow, and some, well, some of the fights, like I said, like. You mentioned they're all waiting their turn, and they're kind of the same. They're yeah. like a little bit samey with some of the fights. Yep. And it's like so it, – I mean, which kind of adds to the allure of this movie oh, a little yeah, bit because it's so low budget, and so I'm not holding it against it too much. If this was like a Steven Seagal movie, that would be a different story. Um, and I speaking of Steven Seagal, I feel like the guy at the end, like fat, fat karate man – was supposed to be a Steve because he had like the Steven Seagal yep. ponytail and yep. yeah. So I think that was kind of a little uh, Easter egg in there. Yeah. But yeah, it was a great movie. Would would recommend. Would watch again. Uh, yeah. What about you, Dane Train? Oh man, I'm not too far behind you. I'm gonna give Psycho Kickboxer nine and a half meatball wow. grinders. Wow. 
out of 10. I, you know what's funny? I watched this movie like a week ago for the first time. And at, for like a week, I gave this movie a 10 out of 10. And I was like, I'm definitely going to give this movie 10 out of 10 grinders. But now as we talk about it, I'm like, mm, okay. I'm kind of thinking about just taking it down <laughs> just a skosh. Um, I love the piss out of this movie. I love it. It's great. I like I just I like the the very predictable storyline about it. I don't know what, how else to put it, but it's a very formulaic revenge action movie, right? Um, that goes a little bit over the top. The only reason why I'm not giving it a ten out of ten was because of the serious missed potential that this movie had. You know what I'm talking about? I'm ta- I'm saying like party hats. Okay, more party hats. Oh yeah. And my thought is, if you're gonna go the ultra gore route. Just fucking run with it. You know what I'm saying? Because we got it. It was only like boop, 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 well, boop. Yeah, that stuff is expensive. I mean, you know, whatever. A watermelon that you... Pff, I don't know. But all I'm saying is... I'm, I'm saying is that it's like, if you're going to do it, you should just run through do the whole it. thing. Or it, it was just so disappointing where you had all of that through through the movie and then the end big-ass fight scene with all the imported fighters from all, the, all over the world and stuff. There was nothing extraordinary. I mean... Let me put it like this. If heads exploding is a number 10 and the regular yeah. fights, I'm going to let's just say that's a number five. The endings, the ending scene was maybe like a six, maybe a seven. I wanted 11. You know what I'm getting at? Yeah. I wanted, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I want, I want, totally. you yeah. know, and the thing is yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not the like kind it of should have had like, I'm not a, I'm not a gore hound, right? That's not me. I'm not, I'm, I'm usually not like, like really into super gory shit, but if you're going to go that route, and in this way, because it's so cheesy, it works. And I just thought that it, it, if you're going to do it, just go with it. You know what I mean? It's always, the ending stuff was a little bit disappointing. But other than that, I loved just about everything about this movie. I thought it was great. That was fantastic. Definitely would cool, rewind the cool. tape. So, yeah. Yeah. Where totally. can, uh, if, if you want to get your very own copy of Psycho Kickboxer. Tell them where to get yeah. it. Yeah, uh, the only way to get this tape, as far as I know, is at alternativecinema.com to get the tape. I wow. think it was like it was cheap. It was like I think it was like twelve bucks or something like that. You know? Wow, that is worth it. Not bad at all. Now I do know that this came out also on a DVD with some other movie from nineteen ninety seven. I don't know. Mm. There was something else called the Gore something or other. I don't know, but. I don't know much about the DVD. I just, as I was looking up the movie at one time, it, I think that popped up on Amazon. But that's all I know. So, yeah. You just go and get cool. the tape from alternativecinema.com. The Hopefully, they still have the some. Day, I bought this a few years ago. I don't know if they still have them, but if they do, go pick them, go pick one up. So, yeah. You definitely should. Would rewind for sure. Definitely. You yes. know, hey, you know what I think this movie would make a great double feature with? Uh, I don't know what. what. Dead or alive? Oh, sure, because it's in a nightclub. <laughs> yep. Right. One's so so right. It's a double feature of action where one is like mostly kickboxing and stuff. The other one's mostly shoot 'em up. Get down! Get yeah. down! Get down! You know what I mean? That's all I'm yeah. saying. I, 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 I would. I would. You know, uh, I would. Super buy a low budget. You know. Yeah, yeah. I would. I, I, would I would as well. <clears throat> And one's Tom, a yellow you tape, gotta one's see a red this movie. Tape. What's that? Um, Have you Tom, not seen mo- Dead or Alive, Tom? What? No. Uh, no. Oh my okay. goodness gracious! Tom, Tom, we're about to drop the atomic bomb on you someday. Hey, you yeah. know what I think would be fun? I wouldn't Ooh. mind doing a retrospective of Dead or Alive as an episode someday. <laughs> just to... Just re- it's been, we've never rewatched a tape. I wouldn't mind that either. I, you know what I'm saying? Cool because... Shit. Yeah. And we watched... We watched that... That was like one of our we very first a episodes. New perspective of, of Tom. Right. Yeah. 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 I think that would be fun to do. You know? Right. Tom, you're probably going to fucking hate yeah. it, but... No, I'm, I, I'd be down. Sweet. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. That All right. Definitely be Good down. stuff. Good stuff. All righty. Anything else you guys wanted to uh, to mention before we uh, kick box out of here? Uh, well, I, I'll do a cheap plug. I've got, uh, I just edited, if you guys are Full Moon fans, I just edited the latest season of uh, 
of um, Miskatonic U on the Full Moon streaming service. Uh, so go check that out. It's The Resonator. They got all different titles. It's like three episodes of, uh, or four episodes. Uh, it's basically like Reanimator meets From Beyond, the TV show. Cool. So it's fucking rad as hell. Um, <laughs> go watch it on Full Moon. Uh, and I'm doing season two of Baby Oopsie from Demonic Toys, all uh, written and directed by Billy Butler. It's uh, fucking cool as shit. The trailer just came out. So uh, keep an eye out for that on the Full Moon streaming service. Cool, dude. Or uh, you can get it fucking anywhere else, too. Awesome. But yeah, what about you, fellers? I just wanted to uh, congratulate one of our big super fans, DVD Creep, who became a dad over the weekend. Whoa. Congratulations. He now, has, Congratulations. He, he now has a little DV, a mini DVD creep uh, in the family. <laughs> mini DV creep? Yeah, yeah, mini DV creep. So uh, big, big props to, big congratulations to him and his new little baby in the family. That is fantastic. Congratulations. All right, all right. And I don't He's have to get any DVD sleep. Yeah, I don't have right. anything no DVD special sleep. to add. That's yep. right. <laughs> How about you, Tom? Anything else going on? Nope. Just okay. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Sounds good. I, yeah, yeah. Good. I just like I you was just saying. I don't have anything additional reader. to add, and you, you were just like, and then Tom, you got anything? I'm like, nope. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> yep. Sorry. All right. All right. Well, uh, thank you everybody for listening to today's episode of VHS Bandits. Ah, uh, we're up on the Instagram. Ah, uh, we're up on Podbean and other. Well, I don't know. Fucking, you're listening to us right now. Why am I saying? Yeah, that? You, hey, you you know where we if, are. If if you have seen Psycho Kickboxer, let us know. Uh, shoot us an email, theviajusbandits.com, or send us a thing on the Insta on the Instagram or wherever. Let us know if you are a big fan of Psycho Kickboxer and uh, how many how many meatball grinders that you would get for this movie. You know, so. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys all again next time on the VHS Bandits. Until next time, be kind and rewind. Born in vengeance, a great fury and force. On the ruin of his family, trained a fighter against crime and corruption. Kickboxer, cloaked in blackness and slave to justice. Kickboxer, cloaked in blackness, challenged the wicked culprit. The loss of his beloved became the savior, exacting retribution and remorse. And now, though he walks in the valley of the shadow of death, he shall fear no evil. Dark angel, shrouded in darkness, come rescue us. Dark angel, shrouded in darkness, slay the nasty villain.
kickboxer, cloaked in blackness, guardian of honor. Kickboxer, cloaked in blackness, destroy the corrupt criminal. Kickboxer, cloaked in blackness, guardian of honor. Kickboxer, cloaked in blackness, destroy the corrupt criminal. Dark angel, kickboxer. 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 Kick